Lesson 8.8, Count by Tens. We use sets of tens to skip count by tens to 100. Here we have one cube tower of 10 cubes. We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So every time we see a cube tower like this of 10, we can skip count by tens. Here's two cube towers. We know each one is 10. We have 10, 20. Here's the number 20 and the word 20. Three sets. This shows 30. We can turn the cube towers on their side to see how they look like three rows of 10 on a 100 chart. If we turn these sideways, we have three rows of 10, 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. But we don't need a hundred chart to skip count by tens. We can put objects in sets of 10 and count them by tens. 10, 20, 30. Here are some cube towers. We can skip count by tens, and we point to each set as we skip count so we don't make a mistake. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Do you notice that we have one cube tower and there's a one here in the 10? We have two cube towers and there's a two in the 20. We have three cube towers of 10, and there's a three in 30. We have four cube towers, 40 starts with a four. We have five cube towers, 50 starts with a five. We have six cube towers, 60 starts with a six, and we could keep going up to 100. Each plate has a stack of 10 pancakes. We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each plate has a stack of ten pancakes. We can count and point to each set of ten. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. There are six sets of ten. That's sixty. We need to circle the correct number. It's 60. There are 60 pancakes. That's a lot of pancakes. Here we have bundles of sticks. Each bundle has 10 sticks. We can count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each bundle has 10. And we can count how many sticks there are in all by counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We need to circle the number that shows how many. It's 100. 10 sets of 10 sticks is 100 sticks. Here are many counters. We can count how many there are by putting them in groups of 10. That's one 10. We can make another 10. And now we have another 10. We can try making another one. We have three tens. We can skip count 10, 20, 30. We know there are 30 because we put them into groups of 10 and skip counted by tens. So be careful as you skip count by tens. We are only counting these numbers to skip count by tens. We're skipping all of these numbers and we're only saying 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. This is the last lesson for Chapter 8. 
So practice writing the numbers and practice counting one to 100 by ones and by tens. Chapter 9, our next chapter, we're going to identify and describe two-dimensional shapes. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me, and I hope you'll hit that like button. Bye.